Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saigen and today we're going to continue our no shot run where we're trying to beat the game on legendary arm and difficulty with nothing but melee attacks and maybe a couple of psionic attacks. Um, for, for good measure we also enable permanent dark events. At this point we only have four running because we were pretty diligent in um, fending them off. Nonetheless, Operation Ghost Giant is amongst us. We got a scientist and 100 intel. But we most likely are also going to um, fight the warlock right there. It's time for a VIP rescue mission. And it's going to be a tough one, not gonna lie. Let's take our troops and see what kind of uh, team I can master in order to go through that. After that, I think we also should try to upgrade maybe some of the bonds <clears throat> and also remove some of the negative effects. Because quite a few of our soldiers by now <clears throat> have more than one negative effect. We're leaving the Psy operatives in training. We're not going to take Scorch with us. Uh, Hoplite certainly is going to stay there as well. So it's kind of our almost standard setup for rangers and two specialists let's make weapon available make utility items available skull jacks and fully upgraded um, fully upgraded uh, drones Richter here is taking another school check. I got the feeling we will need that extra DPS. And in terms of just working with the rest, how about we're taking mind shields and mimic beacon? That has worked quite well so far. Mind shields just remove a lot of the nasty uh, crowd control effects that we really don't want to deal with. We got the katana here, we got the blades here, and I think the team is pretty much ready to go, right? At this point, a lot of our rangers also do have blade storm, so I'm not particularly worried that we will have a lack of DPS. We should be fine. Good, and we landed. We got a nice little concealment here, some high ground that is not relevant because we're only uh, going melee and yeah that's a pretty large map to be honest <clears throat> so Moving to designated let's get going and try to maybe not trigger too many pots in the immediate charge I'm pretty sure we're, uh, there's one right next to uh, the uh, uh, the dark VIP Will do. So that's almost a given. Double time. No need to and so far we're not 100% clear what we're dealing with. It Double could be either the uh, Chosen Move or out. we're really dealing with the Bursa Queen yet again. I would bet my money for the time being on the Chosen, but you never know. All right, Zirkim here. You can get a uh, relatively nice overview. Looks like hostiles over here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh, that would be a really nice opener. Understood. Moving out. That would be a fantastic opener. And. That is the second pack. Yeah, I already figured we might run into two packs. Let's position ourselves over here. And get almost everyone kind of in a... in a spot where we can start ambushing. I would say we're leaving with full cover here and jammer 
sort of takes the high ground for a good view, but also so that we can deploy Comet Protocol properly. I don't want to start anything, so we're hunkering down for now. If these guys move away, then that is okay for us for now, I suppose. Things are looking okay. I mean, we could theoretically try to bypass and then just charge in. Worst thing that could happen is we're going to have a few... We're going to have to deal with both of uh, these packs and maybe another one. But overall, if I recall correctly, it's nine enemies overall, so... Shouldn't be that bad. Of course, you can always put in an extra pack. Dashing. Dashing. Quick feet. Moves over here so that we're a tiny bit closer. Divat can take the position here. Already talked about sonar. Will do. Let's position him here and jammer On the move. goes over onto that side as well. That means if uh, things are playing uh, or going our way, that extra pack here moves away. Of course, they won't uh, because the enemy now sees the uh, sees the opportunity to have a triple a triplet pull for us, and they are going very much in trapping us down so that we will need to pull which also means we are going to see a triple pull how do we do that i don't want to blade storm here because that uh, as we have learned in this run blade storm from concealment uh, leads to problems I think we're going to engage right over here in the hopes of striking one of these clowns down and then triggering uh, triggering um, our emplaceable. I mean, this here could be, in all fairness, actually something that would work because the way that it works is we're slashing, then they start to move. And that would mean that both of them would take a blade storm attack. Um, the first one, therefore, would be dead, given, of course, that we hit both of the attacks. And the second one would be pretty injured and essentially starts to uh, clone itself, which is fine, but th that would be two of them gone. There's the initial damage that I was talking about. Now they begin to activate. There's the Bladestone kill before it can clone itself, so that saved us quite a bit of time. And we even got a placeable, and that's what I was sort of looking for. There we go, there's the clone. Yeah, now we're in trouble, um, that is fair to say. But I know how we can, could, not can, could handle the situation. Not 100% sure if it will work yet. How about we're dealing with them as follow? I got to crowd control very well. 
So Frostbite is one of the most tankiest targets. Very good. That saves us some time. Then, let's deal with the hard counter, who now will take additional damage. Then, afterwards, I would like to solve this here. We don't have him placeable, but what we do have is teamwork. And make no mistake, at this point, we probably will need to trigger all of our abilities. Good. We also do not yet have Bladestorm, which is fine, it happens. I was hoping to stun him, didn't happen yet, but we'll eventually get there. Let's continue with a kill over here. Try to maximize the chance that we're not getting any feedback. Great, so that's some bonus intel and a kill. Nice way to work around sustenance, by the way. Uh, this guy here is uh, frozen. Um, we got a nice uh, option to just go here and visit him with Bladestorm. We got implaceable but not untouchable yet. So let's see what else we can do. We could get a hack. Well, that's not too bad. 100% chance for even more intel. Yeah, I think that here would uh, work, uh, work nicely. So I think what we can do is we can give out an aid protocol, no need to hack now, not in the middle of the combat, that would be disrespectful. And typically disrespect turns into injuries. We're hitting this guy quite hard, which was exactly what we were trying to do. Still got a Mimic Beacon here, and we're probably going to use that, to be honest. And... Let's, let's work with it as good as we can. So, for now, moving over here. Confirmed. The blade storm should kill this guy. He's also burning, so actually he's already dead. But moving over is not a bad idea. Um, Stun Lancer <clears throat> will try to lance. Uh, the Codex just will try to uh, Psionic Bomb, so it's not a problem. And he will shield, so they are actually not doing much which brings us to the only active threat at this point which is our good friend Andromedon luckily we ignore most of its armor no all of its armor to be precise and what I would want to do is place this over here it's neatly positioned so that it will hopefully trigger as many blade storms as possible and let's uh, see what we're going to deal with Tech guys will love this. yeah i was right with uh, the uh, chosen gods elevate Can summon troopers. This is irrelevant for us. Um, Chosen will teleport after taking damage. That is pretty bad. That is pretty bad. Planeswalker is indeed... Ouch. Close round attacks is exactly what we're trying to do. So yeah, the Planeswalker is the only thing that stings. That will also be a bit of a disturbance when we're actually invading a stronghold. Planeswalker is... 
is never in a trait that you chosen. want to see on your chosen. Nice. He's not even strengthening his friends. This here will hopefully... Oh, he avoided that like a champ. Have you seen how he avoided being um, hit right there? Fantastic. Unfortunately for us, that means the Andromedon is loose, but luckily for us, the Bladestorm is 100% of a hit. 100% chance for a hit. The loss of these subordinates is as meaningless to me as it is to me. Good, fantastic. I am nearly upon you. Good, we got a second Mimic Beacon, so Quick Feet here is going to be the one who's using it this turn. We have an option for a skull mine, and I think we're going to take that, to be honest. Leaves us in the open, but nonetheless, it uh, since we've already engaged everyone, it is just too good to pass. That's a bit unfortunate with the feedback. Small amount of damage, fair enough. Um, we got some haywire protocol here. Did they change the haywire protocol to not end the turn? I curious. I've never, ever, ever seen that haywire protocol was never not ending the turn. Hmm. That is very strange. Let's check that, because I really am interested if they've changed it. Alright, that didn't work out. Fair enough, we can kill it with various different means. Yeah, and at the end of the turn... I would have been surprised if that would have worked. It's probably just a graphical glitch. The small things that X XCOM does in order to mess you, uh, mess with you. So that's a kill. Let's maybe start with the obvious things, shall we? Gotta eat it with this guy here. And I assume that Bladestorm is the best way of doing that. Kill confirmed. Illness created them for this very purpose. In their respect, they are fulfilled. Good, unfortunately, well, we still got the Mimic Beacon, so we should be fine. It has been so long since I have seen a sword thrust in pure hatred. Alright, we're moving to here. That kills the blade. Um, that kills um, the um, the Sun Lancer. We do have Untouchable, which means we would, and we do have a weapon that actually deals a lot of damage to our more targets. So might as well move up. Fantastic idea. Good job. And how about we move into here so that the Blade Storm is actually being useful for us. And we're throwing the Mimic Beacon over there. Both of them should converge towards the beacon. <coughs> and as a nice parting gift, they will take some extra damage. Leave the tanks for last. These guys have too, ma uh, too many hit points to deal with now.
And also, try to use your abilities. Uh, that's probably the learning here. Try to use your abilities most efficiently. Even when I was throwing the Mimic Beacon, I still made sure that that were um, getting that extra blade storm attack, right? Nice. He he directly comes at us, which is fantastic. Mind Scorch is much much better than uh, summoning his dreadful zombies. We're going to get him one way or the other. Now, by the way, is a fantastic time for a hack. For those sweet, sweet extra bits of intel. to take another round of a mimic beacon I think we're fine what we can do is we can soften up these targets here we do have untouchable on him which is good we'll leave that as is and Let's just use Combat Protocol in order to get down the Andromedon shell far enough. Good. Very good. Sure thing. Moving in. We got another hack, theoretically speaking. Can do that next turn. Nice, some extra supplies are going a long way. Good, these guys are be, uh, efficiently being dealt with. Now, next up. Let's make sure that we got you covered, my friend. And as we're charging in, he teleports completely away. Yep, that was unfortunate. Can we theoretically hit him at the new position? Probably not. What we could try to do is trick, uh, trick it a tiny bit. Moving to here. Nope, still can't get to him. Okay, so instead of being mad about all of that, let's just move to here. Could have attacked, but yeah, it's fine. Oh, we can still attack. It was just a single movement. I said extra kill. Moving over there. And since we don't have anything like better to do. No, wait a second, that could trigger that could trigger reinforcements. We have a lot of better things to do than dealing with reinforcements next turn. The timer is stopped at this point. There's really no need to deal with anything. If at all, we're going to give over an aid protocol so that Zirkim here doesn't take the full brunt of a shot or whatnot. And that's the end of the turn. He's burning, which is good. Uh, why did right. Bladestorm not trigger? Oh, it missed. Okay, it's just out of order. An 
who would have thought that he would take a shot? Yeah, we're going to continue to hunt him down. Nice extra damage. Oh, look at you. Fantastic. You came just in time. This should deal a lot of damage. 16. Nice. Very nice. Unfortunately, Planeswalker does not trigger uh, Bladestorm. It would have been too good. And this might be a kill. Oh yeah. Very nice. Five extra AP. Could use that. Pretty smooth sailing actually. Implaceable is always a fantastic skill. Let's hack. Chosen can be heard. Now and let's get a large supply of prey um, of crates. Yeah, perfect. That is good. Why exactly did we take so much damage? Do we have a buff on us? We only took a mild amount of damage. When we were school checking, no idea why it escalated that badly. The Gemma here needs some support. All right, we're concealing ourselves, and I'm not even sure if at that point, if there is much more out there. Potentially not. Ending the turn. No, there is nothing more out there. All right, I'll go. Opening the door. The hey, go. what's Move up? Long time no seen. Good, and that Four. pretty much concludes the mission, as far as I'm concerned. Killed everything. Dash. Had a nice triple pack pull, followed up by an awesome fight against the Chosen. Yeah, we can get him out of there next turn. Reinforcements. Yep, I figured that that would happen, but we don't need to uh, farm those. Menace 1-5, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. We are good to go. Quick feet moves out. Beat feet. On the move. The VIP moves up. And last but certainly not least, Sirkim. Good. Let's get the guys out of here. Just in time. Can still stay with uh, a skeleton crew because one person was not yet on the evac zone. Not that it mattered. I just want to make sure we're not ending up, uh, mind you, with um, with a mech that, for whatever reason, started to go onto Overwatch. Well, look at you. Feel free to inspect the crime scene, my friends. But XCOM is out of here. See you later, suckers. Very good. Good 
good. And look at that. We only got eight days. I still don't know why it escalated. We only took two uh, damage in the first round, but then three in the round afterwards. That's a bit iffy. I'd, I've never seen that happen. I'll keep an eye on it going forward. And yeah, we got 20 intel and 75 supplies on top of another, another 95 after. intel My and the scientist. Which brings us to a whooping uh, 212 intel. Fantastico. Uh, we want to very much ignore that and not bond, uh, bond them yet. Yes, please. And yeah, we already got negative trade removals there. Okay, cool. We're back in the game, guys. Um, the one thing that I'm wondering is when's the right time to uh, go and take down the warlock. We said we wanted to do that. <clears throat> we said we wanted to do that when Hawkbite is back, right? When the time is right, I strike without warning. So six more days. Most of them don't even have time to notice they're dead. Yeah, probably the bond training is not a good idea because we will need sonar on the actual mission. Alternatively, we can take Sane. That's also not too bad. You would be ready. Yeah, I think we're okay. Don't worry too much. Let's get Hogbite uh, back and once we have him, we should be ready to go. <clears throat> first things first, we're going to take some supplies. 600 are waiting for us, so now there is really no limit in how far we can expand because we got the funds to do so. Inspire, can I get an all lance? No. <sighs> that is unfortunate, really. This will prove to be an important step. Spectral autopsy, that's a good one. Not that we are using it going forward. Nonetheless, not bad. <clears throat> we got plasma rifles. And just to get maybe some more research breakthroughs, I, I will go for it. Priority. We don't need the plasma rifles at this point but it can trigger research breakthroughs good we got all negative traits removed or need to do that with a few other of our soldiers as well <clears throat> three more days and then our team would consist out of two uh, two templars um one specialist that focuses on healing one ranger and potentially the other uh, the two psi operators i'm not happy that we haven't gotten to the second null lens because that will again slow the entirety down quite a bit but i can't change it now I want to continue build the radio relay or alternatively get some more alloys and alarium. I think for now let's get the alloys. We're okay on income. Should be fine. Just double checking since we have so many resources, is there anything noticeable that we can upgrade? Cool under pressure. Really a no event for us. Scilab, fully upgraded, cool. Any project here that would make sense. We have enough school jakes. Yeah, the ammunition doesn't work for melee weapons, so that's unfortunate. The war suit would be wasteful, because maybe, I mean, you could argue we have a flamethrower it's not a shot but it's still a flamethrower so i don't want to 
like go down that route and the wrath uh, suit really not worth it um, only the serpent suit is worth it because you do have the one-time uh, crowd control which is super powerful but yeah normally the rest is not worth it um, as for laboratory we I think already got most of the upgrades right yeah that's right Infirmary, we got everything. Power relays, irrelevant. Resistance communications, already got that. Resistance ring. Yeah, fully upgraded. And shadow chamber needs to be upgraded a bit later. Okay, so it's fair to say we got most of, uh, actually all of the stuff that we needed. Just give the word um, and I'll get started, Commander. Not needed, not needed. I mean, yes, the fusion uh, rib check might be needed, but are we going to use? Are we going to use the skirmisher really? At the moment, it doesn't look like that. Hellweave could be a one-time build, just so that we do have it in case we're, we're having too much uh, space available. Still lacking that one sector here for the Psy upgrades. If we could get that somehow, that'll be fantastic. Commander, we've located one of their facilities. But yeah, there's... Unfortunately, that it doesn't work like that. I mean, we could theoretically go to here, uh, but that would trigger the Archon King. Not particularly keen in doing that now. We still need to deal with the Berserker Queen and having another one of these aliens run loose uh, will just make the, the missions unnecessarily more difficult. Let me see, is anyone here having a sector? Purifier, Codex, Elite Trooper, and an unknown enemy, which is maybe the Berserker Queen again. In here we got a sector. But we wouldn't get the corpse because we're blowing it up, so never mind. Send Never mind. Good. We gotta, we gotta go. Once Hawkbite is ready, we gotta start. I don't want to risk being shot down. It's just not worth it. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. All right. Uh, mm, Colonel Erickson is no longer shaken, which kind of suggests we are going to go and infiltrate the stronghold spectre shield bearer heavy mech lancer priest purifier viper andromedon archon no sector there as well as if the guy would have known that uh, that's the only thing that we need with non-upgraded um, <coughs> psi amplifiers that also means that the damage is again low mm. Can I purchase them somewhere? Probably not. Can only sell that. Can I get it any other way? Hmm. Do we have another mission? Anything? Not really. Nope. It'll be a drag. It will just uh, make the whole thing longer than it needs to be, but it is what it is. We're going in with Hogbite, uh, mm, Scorch, the two Psy Operatives, Sane and Quickfeet. That should be a nice team. Quickfeet has Bladestorm, that makes it even better and implacable. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that's really what we're going to do. Anyways, uh, that brings us to the end of uh, today's episode. If you enjoyed what you've seen, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. Um, or tell your friends about uh, missions that you've seen on the channel that works equally well for me and see you in the next episode bye bye guys